Our next speaker is a co-founder of the Ann Arbor Chronicle, a local news site that ended its six-year run on September 2nd. Please welcome Mary Morgan. Thank you. More Ann Arbor residents attend Michigan football games than vote in the primary elections. It's true. How many of you can name both of your city council representatives? Hands up for your award. Yeah, not for many of you, but you guys, you're smarty pants and you're in the minority. Everyone complains about a lack of civic engagement. The Ann Arbor Chronicle tried to address that by making local government more accessible. We made it accessible to people who are interested, but you know what? We need to get more people interested. And I'm not here to talk about low voter turnout or general apathy. We need a bigger ambition, a complete cultural transformation, infusing participation in local government and civic affairs into all aspects of community life. What might that look like? For me, it would look like a place where I'd like to live, where participation in civic life is easy, expected, and entertaining a fact of life. I'd like to live in a place where we have puppet show reenactments of city council meetings <laughs> in public parks like Liberty Plaza or the farmer's market. Maybe the uh, council members themselves could be the puppeteers. What if we had local candidate forums in venues like Michigan Theater where the crowds would be so large and so popular that we'd have to find a venue that would be twice that size. Imagine what that would be like. What if you wanted to run for office? You could watch online videos that would give you practical advice about how to be a candidate, like on campaign election finance, or um, how to get yard signs. And there'd be workshops, but the workshops would be so full you couldn't get in. I'd like a nerd night, but I'd also like a civic nerd night where geeks for government would give talks to an alcohol-fueled audience. <laughs> We'd leave with energy, ideas, and optimism. What if the city administrator announced that it's that time of year when the leaves are calling, falling and they're clogging the storm drains, and volunteers fanned out across the city? The next day, those storm drains would be cleared. I'd like to live in a community where there's a community snow shovel on every intersection during the winter, right? And pedestrians could clear a bit of the walkway before they cross the street. And they wouldn't steal the shovel, by the way. <laughs> I'd like to get mailings from a nonpartisan group with information about all of the candidates so that the candidates wouldn't have to raise money just to get their name in front of voters. It's possible. What about a Twitter feed with a civic trivia question every day? It could be practical, be quirky. David Nelson would not only have to be the person who responds all the time. <laughs> You'd have tens of thousands of followers and trend on, the, on Twitter. What if we treated poll workers like rock stars? What if this was a pickup line? Hey, you're a poll worker too? What's your favorite precinct, baby? I'd like one of you to develop a civic app for my iPhone. I'd enter the number of hours I have available each week and the topics I'm interested in, and it would give me suggestions about how to volunteer my time to my community. I'd like to live in a place where the broadcasts of public meetings included digi digital text stream, and those text streams are in English and Spanish and Arabic and Chinese, making those public meetings accessible to all. What about a civic quiz bowl? Yeah. How many of you can name all the townships in Washtenaw County? <laughs> what if we had students do reports on local topics and those reports were read widely by all residents? How cool would that be? I'd like to live in a community where all the boards and commissions have a slot designated for somebody between the ages of 13 and 21. And those, and those older students would mentor younger students for those roles. What if the community took control of its news coverage? What if the library mobilized people to inform and be informed, maybe by using ArborWiki as a platform? I'd like to live in a community 
where I could get reliable news about local government and other civic affairs, and I wouldn't have to rely on an out-of-state corporate media that's more driven by profits than by community needs. Yeah, let's do that. What if we did all of these things? What if everyone you knew was involved in some way in civic life? With your help, Ann Arbor can be that kind of place. And we can transform America one community at a time. Thank you. Thank you, Mary.